that song. <laughs> oh, hello, Edelgard. Professor Manuela, that song you were humming, I feel as though I've heard it before, long ago. And I'm sure it was you singing it back then. At the Opera House in the Imperial Capital, perhaps. Why, yes. You must have seen me there. I am flattered you would remember it. I performed with the Middle Franc Opera Company in Enbar on numerous occasions. So it was you. I went to that performance with my uncle. I wanted desperately to see it again. But after that night, he took me to seek asylum in the kingdom. When I returned to the Empire several years later, you had already retired. Oh, that's a shame. So you only got to hear me sing once? Sadly, that's correct. Yet, you still remember it, even the melody of the song I sang. I'm honored. That's how much of an impression your voice left on me. I must ask, why did you retire so soon? You could have continued for another 10 or 20 years. Indeed, many singers perform for decades. But that wasn't for me. I wanted to go out on top. My voice is a gift from the goddess. However, as all things do, it will decline with age. One day, I will lose that gift. And so I decided I needed to learn to survive without it, long before that day came. I needed to prove to myself that I can live on, even after my voice returns to the goddess. So despite your belief in the goddess, you wish to live by your own strength? It's hard for me to explain. The goddess supports me both spiritually and emotionally. Everything else is up to me. Professor Manuela, may I come in? Uh, this room, what... what happened here? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary. Why? Is something the matter? No, I just... Uh, can I help you tidy up? Uh, actually, I have to know. How did you make such a mess in the first place? Please don't ask for the details. Suffice to say, my room always looks like this after I've been dumped. Oh, right. Well, let's see what we can do about it. Your help was unexpected, but appreciated, Edelgard. Now, what can I do for you? I heard that you haven't been acting like yourself, so I came to see if you're doing all right. But the moment I saw you, I could tell you were troubled, so it seemed pointless to ask. I suppose it was rather obvious, wasn't it? Perhaps I should stop being quite so dramatic. All the same, dear, I'd like to repay you for helping me out. Name your prize. I don't need a reward. But if you wouldn't mind answering my question, I'd greatly appreciate it. Of course! What is it? I once asked you why you chose to retire. You said that the goddess supports you emotionally, but it's up to you to take care of the rest. I have to admit that I don't quite understand what you meant by that. Can you please explain? Did I say that? <laughs> I suppose so. From joining the Middle Franc Opera Company to becoming a diva of the grand stage. I went through so much to achieve what I did. <sighs> Looking back, I don't know how I made it. What happened during that time? A lot. My divinely gifted voice only got me to the edge of the stage. From there, I had to work hard to defeat my rivals. I did all of this by myself, through sheer force of will. All so I could stand center stage. Ah, I see I was wrong about something. I thought that being a devout believer implied a certain weakness of spirit, an inability to survive on your own. But you've proven me wrong, Professor Manuela. <sighs> Something on your mind, Edelgard? 
This may not be the best place to sit and think. An archer might try to take a lucky shot at you. Right you are. I appreciate your concern. In here, I'm trapped in a whirlwind of political affairs. I just needed to escape for a moment to get some fresh air. I understand completely. May I ask what was on your mind? I'd like to help. To be honest, I still can't forget what you told me before. I don't want you to misunderstand and think I'm against everything the Church represents. There's good there, buried in the corruption. Still, I find it extremely difficult to step back and accept the good, overlooking all the rest. For the world to start anew, it's necessary for the nobility system and the Church of Saros to both be completely crushed. Perhaps. I suppose that might be the only way for you to achieve your goals. I believe so. But then I think about people like you, who are devoted to the Goddess. People who are unlike the others, who are willing to fight for themselves rather than leaving everything in the hands of a higher power. When I achieve my aim, I'll be crushing their... crushing your emotional and spiritual support. Yet despite all that, you're still here, still supporting me. Don't worry yourself about that, Edelgard. People are always weaker than you think, but never as weak as you expect. The Goddess is our silent foundation. She watches over our every step, but never gets directly involved. You, on the other hand, want to support us with your own flesh and blood, to push us forward toward a better future. <sighs> As it were, some problems require drastic measures. I believe you know that better than anyone. It takes strength to take those measures. That's why you inspire people. You're probably why some of them get out of bed in the morning. You're too kind. Now, I've just been around a bit longer than you, that's all. While we're on the subject, yes, the Goddess does supply me with emotional support. But so do you, whether you know it or not. I... what do you mean by that? <laughs> just what I said, my dear. Just what I said. Ugh, now I'm blushing. Let's change the subject, shall we? <laughs> as you wish. I think I've said quite enough as it is.